All right, we are now ready for Super Sound Showcase, sponsored by Culture Fix here on WMBG. I am your host, Robert Hodge, and I am happy to welcome today Brian Carmona Band, and they are fabulous musicians. If you have not heard them, brace yourselves, find yourself a comfortable chair. They're going to give you some great music to listen to, and you're going to want to find out where they're playing, because I guarantee you, you're going to want to come out and see these gentlemen. Brian, welcome. Hey, how are you? Thank you. I am doing really well. Welcome. You, I know, have been on Super Sound Showcase before with my predecessor, with Ty Hodges, um, but I am excited to have you and the band here for my own uh, personal concert today because you know that's been the greatest part of the radio is finding bands that i truly like and having them come play just for me in the studio so thank you well always a pleasure and an honor to be here and this time i get to be with my band yeah that's yeah. exciting i tell you what i i actually happened into a place where you were playing down in hampton and was just totally taken aback by the music that comes out of the three guys in this room and we have brian carmona on guitar steve utt playing keys and Mike Hopkins on drums, and of course Brian is doing vocals as well. And uh, it is just fantastic to have you guys ready to do your stuff. So what, what are you going to play for us today? Well, we're going to do a couple of tunes from our um, just released CD, and, uh, and we're going to do a couple of uh, cover tunes for you too. Okay. We're our very own twist of things. Okay, well that's, that's always to be expected. I know you always have a backbeat that nobody expects. So, uh, yeah, let, let's hear it. What do, what do you got first? What's the name of this song? Uh, we're going to start with, uh, with the, um, the song's called This Is Me, which okay. is also the name of my CD. Okay, awesome. Well, let's have it. Go. Go back your back. Give it to 
Determination of a bad relationship. Yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> Recent termination, I oh, think. No, this no? was uh, uh, a couple of years ago. Okay. Actually, wrote it almost right by the time I started recording the CD. Okay. And uh, it just happened to be the song that kind of identified me at the time, what was going on in my life, and uh, uh, like a new beginning, a, a new beginning for uh -huh. me. So, uh, how many recordings have you done, Brian? Uh, Thirty-three collaborations with all the artists. Really? I have one CD that I recorded many years ago. It wasn't exactly a CD, but I, I have the songs for sale on River Nation. Sure. And there's five songs of them, and uh, this one is uh, uh, ten uh, songs. It's a self-produced CD, ten original songs, music, lyrics, and. I basically pretty much did everything and uh, surrounded by these great musicians and a few other fellows that are not here with me to okay. today. Well, uh, but the core are these three, right? Yes, these are, my, the work. these are my, my tour guys. Okay, <laughs> and where can people find you performing? Uh, well, this weekend we're out of town. Okay. Uh, next weekend we're going to be in Richmond uh, at Daddy O's Grill and at the West End. Uh -huh. And Saturday we are at Brown Chicken, Brown Cow, Brown Cow yeah, yes. down in Hampton. And Hampton. It's King Street, right? Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, no. Uh, no, not King Queen, Street. Queen Street. Yeah, Queen. One of them. Yeah, yeah Queen, Royal Queen, Queen Street. Queen, Queensway. <laughs> Queensway. Okay, yep, yeah. yep. I've only been there that one time that I saw you guys there. Oh. It was great. Yeah, to come out and bring your keys too. Yeah, I'd like that. I'd love to play with you guys. Oh, yeah, absolutely. We'd, we'd kill it with two keyboards, wouldn't we? Oh, absolutely. Ah, have mercy. That'd be I fun. could actually go sit down and watch you guys do ah, my songs. Right? <laughs> I don't think we'd want that. But uh, I am quite uh, curious about uh, your history. You are Cuban. No, no, no. Well, I thought that's what you told me. No, no. Right, no. Never mind. I've gone completely <laughs> stupid today. My mom, mind. my 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 mom's from Colombia, and my my father is Italian. Oh, you know that's and, exactly what you told me. And I, I was got Cuban. And I was born in Queens, New York, okay. raised in Brooklyn, and um, a lot of traveling, a lot of yeah. music in my family. My mom and my uncles are all jazz and salsa musicians. Right. And mm -hmm. when we first talked, you told me about all kinds of people that you worked with that everybody knows. Uh, I had the chance to work with a lot of great people. Um, um, Throw some names out there. Come on. Uh, Bobby Torres. Yeah. He was a percussionist for Santana. Got to do a couple of things with Carlos as well. Uh, very little. Um, got to work with uh, the great Leroy Vinegar, uh, mm -hmm. with the late, great, late, late great uh, Paul DeLay as well right. um 
Well, Norman Sylvester. Yes. Um, uh, you've done very well. Uh, and how long have you actually had your own band? How long have you been playing out? Uh, it started out as the Brian C. Band. Yeah? And uh, this started back in 1998. Okay. And um, till about two years ago, we changed it to the Brian Carmona Band. Yeah, that's catchy. I like it. Yeah. It's a good name. So, are you guys having a good time playing with Brian? Absolutely. We don't yes, have you individually yeah. mic'd up, but everybody can see your response. And you know, it shows on your face when you're all playing. You all look happy, and it's an awfully tight sound. Do y'all do y'all work all the time together? I mean, we do. Yeah. We we still find time to rehearse too. We we work. Uh, I am lucky enough to found the finally find the committed musicians. Nice. That is the hard part. The guys that are actually give me my gives me plenty of time he dedicates his time to what we do nice and you know steve basically uh it's on daily basis we go at it every nice. day and it's personal nice. practice and then combined practice and then the band once we get everything together then we call mike so he can bang things out for us wow. well, that's great listen we're going to go to a commercial and we'll have about okay we are back and we are the new Super Sound Showcase, and I am thrilled as I can be to continue with Brian Carmona Band. And Brian, what else do you have to play for us today? It makes me wonder why. That's the name of the song. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. You're an actor too. I like it. Hey. It's all part of the, the trade, you know. <laughs> all right, fellas, here we go. <laughs> Without your touch, I don't want to live no more. Without your 
trying to do something a little different you know uh, several styles in my CD you know from mm -hmm. blues to rock to a little Latin and uh, so we were trying to bring a little bit of everything that we do and as much as I like blues or rock I can personally I can't listen to right. it all day long variety I agree as much as I like pizza I can't eat it every day True. But every other day. Where would you like people to find your CDs? Uh, go to my website, www.briancarmona.com. Okay, and they can also find your appearances there? And they can find everything they need to know about me is there. Okay, and what's the one thing that they'll find there that nobody would expect? <sighs> what surprises people the most about you? Uh, things that, they, that I don't advertise. Yeah. Like, you know, uh, you'll find out uh, about the awards that I've actually won, and you'll find out uh, about all the things, who I play with, and who I toured with, and what I did. Things that I don't talk about, because that was then, and today is now, so... Right. Well, I will check that out, and I'm sure I encourage my listeners to do the same. You obviously know your way around that guitar beautifully, and you sing well, you're a great writer. And I enjoy this band, I really do. So Thank I'm, you. I'm thrilled to have you. We got time for one more song. What you got? I'm going to give you a. It's called "Tell Me What You Want." Okay. And uh, and well, she uh, she decided to love me. <laughs> wow. <Yeah. laughs> well, good that it has a happy ending. We oh, like that. A absolutely, absolutely. Happily ever after. Okay, let's hear it.
some serious musicianship going on in those keys, dude. No, wow. Thank you. Wow, that was amazing. <laughs> and the drums, man, you know, you guys are all brilliant musicians. I thank you for letting us feature you today because it's been a privilege. Really Robert, is. thank you so very much for having us here. Thank you. We thank are. You. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, thank you, Michael Hopkins on drums. Thank you. Yes. And Mrs. Steve, Steve Utt on keyboards. Yeah. Uh, I am a very lucky fellow to be surrounded by all Indeed. these talent. Well, this is not the last time I'm going to see you, and I hope not the last time you'll be here at WNBG. I will be here as fun. many times you want us. We will awesome. be here. I really thank you, CJ. This. Mm -hmm. Jacob. And ah. Jacob. Yeah. Thank you so very and much. Queen and the Queen, Stephanie, wherever she <laughs> is. <laughs> well, thank you all for listening. This has been the new Super Sound Showcase, sponsored by Culture Fix. And as always, our thanks to Culture Fix for making it possible for us to highlight these local musicians that are so brilliant and they work so hard. Please support local music and please go out and see them and buy their recordings. This is how they make their living and they work at it every single day. And it's just my part to be a, a small part of what you're doing, what you present on a daily basis. And I appreciate it very much, Brian. So good luck to you guys. And we're going back to our regular programming now. Flying Brian will be in.